Hello, so today we will study the personality of the INFP in comparison to the big five, uh, five domain and 30 facets. So the big five has five domain, conscientiousness, neuroticism or emotional stability, extraversion, agreeableness, openness. So as for the facets, we will study the facets from the Neo PIR facet and IPIP scale. So let's first start with the six facets of conscientiousness. So the first facet is competence or self-efficacy. And the question is complete tasks successfully and or misjudged situations. I would say that the INFP tends not to be too high in self-efficacy because they are not that interested in completing, completing tasks. And it will be the same for order or orderliness. Do they like order or do they leave a mess? I would say in general it's, about, it's around average. As for dutifulness, follow the rules or break the rules, I would say it's around average here too, because uh, they don't want to break the rules per se, but they like to be their own standard and therefore they don't like to follow the rules too much. As for achievement striving, as for self-discipline and as for deliberation or cautiousness, I would say the same for those three facets because they don't uh, like to work hard too much because of the P of their personality. They tend to procrastinate and not do the chores right away also because of the P and they tend not to avoid mistakes too much because of the P also and because uh, of the fact that they don't have the, the T. So I would say conscientiousness around average. Now let's move to the second domain, extraversion. So as for extraversion, I would um, tend to oppose uh, some uh, of the facets. For example, the first two uh, facets, I would say um, not that much assertiveness and activity level, not that much because they like to spend uh, uh, time alone. They don't like to uh, direct other people. They don't like to take charge. They like to be in their own world. As for the facets of friendliness and gregariousness, I would say also that making friends for them is not that easy because they have their very original worldview and they don't like, uh, for example, large gatherings because uh, they tend to like their own private world to be able to reflect and imagine. As for excitement seeking uh, and positive emo emotions, uh, I wouldn't say it's exactly the same because excitement seeking is, for example, liking loud music or uh, bright lights. And for this, I wouldn't say yes for the INFP, but for positive emotions and cheerfulness, I would say they are not that low, although they are introverts, because they tend to, to be happy within themselves, with their emotions, with their own private world, with their imagination. So overall, I would say extraversion rather low, except maybe for uh, positive emotions, which shouldn't be that low. Now, as for agreeableness, um, INFPs are of the F type, so they are rather agreeable person. And I would say especially for uh, INFP women, because we know that women tend to be more agreeable. And... Uh, I would say that um, they are rather high uh, on various uh, facets. 
Uh, as for tender mindedness and sympathy, they are rather high. Modesty also in comparison to their talents. Straightforwardness and cooperation. Uh, yes, they want to cooperate in general because they are rather agreeable. Uh, altruism make people feel welcome, yes. Morality and compliance in general, yes, because they have uh, high standards of morality and of values. And trust, I would say that uh, it's around average. So I would say agreeableness above average and especially uh, morality and compliance. Now, as for openness, I would say very high because they have an E and an E is um uh and he is about uh exploring the cognitive world exploring patterns and um i would say that there are at least five facets where they are very high because they have an f it is fantasy and imagination they have a vivid imagination they tend to daydream because they are an f and because especially they have FI, which is all about uh, uh, feelings, aesthetic, artistic interest, obviously very high because of their NF and of their FI, especially which seeks originality. Feelings and emotionality, they are maybe the higher of the type because they have FI and FI is combined with NE to produce a deep feelings. Uh, as for action and adventurousness, I would say yes, but maybe not that much because they are introverted. So adventurousness, yes, because of an E, but because they are introverted, not that much. And values and liberalism, yes, because I would say they are rather spiritual people and not so much religious. And they would tend to vote more for liberals because of a less uh, dogmatic attitude in general. It's only for ideas and intellect, the last facets, that they would score higher than average, but not that high, because they are NFs and not NT. Now I come to neuroticism. Neuroticism is more or less independent from the MBTI, but although it is um, independent, I would say that maybe they score higher on some uh, facets, like, uh, like depression, like uh, self-consciousness and like uh, uh, maybe vulnerability because they tend to know that they are original, that they are less understood than the average of people and therefore maybe they are more prone to uh, uh, feeling blue and uh, to feeling a sense of uh, estrangement uh, from other people. So to sum up, um, we would, I would say conscientiousness um, average, extraversion low, except maybe for positive emotions, uh, agreeableness high but not that high, uh, especially high in morality, openness very very high, especially in fantasy, aesthetics and feelings above all, because they are NF. And finally, neuroticism, I would say a little bit above uh, average because of um, depression and self-consciousness. So please leave a comment and I will answer quickly.